are in the commons area. This is where all of our general public and our students will enter most every morning. Of course, the office is here on our left. School. It's where they'll eat lunch and they'll enter into the gymnasium from this same view. Here's a concession stand, so we have certain student events out here in the commons. Gym seat's about 650. It's about the same size as the Kern Troy Middle School gym, now that we've added the music room. Our two uh, locker rooms behind us. And then this is a fitness room right off the gym, and it'll be loaded with uh, different equipment, different weight, fitness equipment for our students and our so when we lock the doors we just walk through to make to lock this down during high winds we have bathrooms in here for our students and staff the band room's quite large but again it doubles as our safe room so we have to have space large enough to get our students into computers will go around the outside walls and then a lot of space in between to pull their classroom tables together and work on different items in their program. So in this classroom you have five different kitchens for the students to, to work at and then here in the front of the room this will be a pantry with all the supplies that students will need for their kitchens and then next to the pantry will be a refrigerator and a freezer so again all students use this area together and take their stuff back to their respective kitchen areas. It has some natural light so the two programs can work together. At the time, you've got each of your doorways so that art, family consumer science, gateway to technology, band, and this, this room, our ag room, could all come in here. They could work together on things. They could set like soil and gravel out here to take outside from this door. It would be a roll-up door to the outside uh, world. And they could do some things out back. To the left of our commons area, down this main hallway, we'll connect to the 6th, the 7th, and 8th grade wing, and then all our special programs. You'll also encounter the nurse's office, and that's here in front of us. You'll be able to access that right off the commons. So the guidance office is uh, very visible and very accessible for all of our students. The 6th, 7th, and 8th are all separated from the rest of the school with a large hallway, as you can see. It's very long and it's very wide. So the floors are, right now they have cardboard covering them, but they're a polished concrete floor and uh, they're very durable and easy to take care of. With a skylight above you, uh, this is where 120 students or so will call home. They'll have a math classroom, a social studies classroom, their language arts classroom, and their science classroom. You have a paraprofessional area where a, a teacher's aide could work or a volunteer could work. And then every wing has an area for our teachers. And it's, uh, they have a conference room so that they can work together as a team, as subject matters, cross curriculum, potentially. This wing has two skylights because that's the center of two seventh grade teams. They're still grinding the floors now so they have a natural polished concrete. And so what you're getting here is you're getting a kitchenette with a wash and dryer to help students learn life skills. At the end of the, this main hallway, you'll see what the ceiling is going to find finished version of life. Yeah. Good. It's like they're getting ready to put lockers in down here, already started. So let's go into a standard classroom and take a look at them. And in the front of the room, you'll have whiteboards and smart, a smart board, even though I understand it's a, a newer version. So that'll be the instructional wall. The teacher does not have a desk. This is their area. So they have a countertop with a center desk drawer and they have cabinets over the top of them. Much like Troy Middle School now. So every student in every corner of the room can have the same amount of light. Let's go into the science room. Science room has a lot of space. It's got a lot of countertop space on each side. And then it's got overhead cabinets. We're not finished painting in here. And if the teacher so desires, can put that table over here by one of these lab areas. The teachers have common storage of things they would want to keep behind closed doors. They would share between themselves. Uh, we brought the laboratories out away from 
uh, from the restroom area so that students uh, can come out here and, and uh, use the vanity and the mirrors. Right now we'll open with two ball diamonds on it. You can see that one's mowed and ready to get a fence installed. So the football field and the track are regulation. As you can see to the east, to the east you can see all the farmland. That all belongs to the school district. We've got a safe place for our students to walk. We walk from Perkin Creek subdivision up to the plaza here at the school. 